on the previous episode. Squad updates, Ronnie Lot Limited. We pick up for 715,000 coins. Now, I know I talked about like Limited and Legends. I don't like their investments. This really isn't what is up youtube welcome back to the channel episode 70 of the no money spent team of the week tuesday is always a great day right investments the market kind of goes crazy and for example but let's go in and hop in and look at the content we got today the hero cards for the team of the week the first one being lem barney i always said i think i said len yesterday but lem barney 92 speed 88 zone coverage so if you have a strat card as well as you power up he will hit that 90 zone coverage the only downside of this card six foot 188 he doesn't have the best block shed and he doesn't have the best press that's the only downside of lem barney but a really good set card. He will be definitely holding his price. Jonathan Taylor, the right, the current day card, 91 speed, 91 break tackle. The only problem with this card is if he didn't come out two weeks ago, right? Because we got Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry has the same speed, a little heavier, and he's King Henry, right? He's going to be a better card than Jonathan Taylor. And then we got Vernon Davis, the fastest stock speed tight end in the game, as well as he has the 90 medium route running, 90 short route running threshold, decent run block, and he's on that Niners team team, which is starting to become scary. Good Vernon Butler, the limited time card, right? Big boy, 6'4", 330, 90 blocks, shed, 92 power move, and he's already at 500k for limited, basically an hour after his release. I expect tomorrow him to be easily under 400,000. Remember, we always buy our limiteds on the second day i will definitely be buying probably one or two of them if he gets under 400k now the ncat 88s that you get from the solos you got cd lamb 90 speed and then matthew wright a kicker with 90 kick power no money spent players really anybody i highly suggest picking up matthew wright as the card put him as your kicker right that's your kicker for the next two months you don't have to buy justin tucker limited you don't have to buy any other cards matthew wright is your kicker you see we also got 25k from the daily quick sell had to put that in there only gotten that twice about i think all year and as well we have the weekend link rewards i think we went seven and one seven and two right really focusing for next month right it's really grind weekend league but this week this pretty much month is more about content more about most fear work in the market but you see we get 28k and we do pull a demarcus where from the pack a decent decent pack ends up making i think around 40 to 50 000 for our weekend league rewards and we're gonna hop into the mark kind of a vibe what's the vibe pretty much of the training market for us we're going to the team of the week most feared investments now the training market right now is still at about 220k per 92 you snipe probably about 210 so i'd say 21.5 is the coins for training really has kind of settled down right the last couple last two weeks really the team of the week tuesday has not dropped the market like it did weeks one through three and now why is that well one people really are kind of stacking training for most feared part two in anticipation to pull re-rolls right and as well team of the week content right weeks one through three was really the most anticipated content drop of the week right so when they were put in the pack people were spamming spamming packs now that we have kind of like most feared right we have some bigger promos on the weekend the pack pullers really aren't really targeting right team of the week to pull a bundle right they'd rather just save and pull a most feared bundle over the weekend so the team of the week packs really aren't being spanned but hopping into the 88 team of the week markets what are we buying these cards at well right now i think it's a little after four that i'm actually speaking in this right the footage from about an hour earlier the cards really are going for 53 to 54k really consistently right i'm refreshing right now as i speak there's 52 53 one for 48 we are buying these cards for under 50 000. i think to direct the trajectory and the pattern these cards are going to follow it's going to be the debo samuel from two weeks ago we are buying those 88s at right on right at 50k and under and then they end up going for about 66 to 67k a day later so we're going to be targeting right especially for you guys right that have 500k to a million you don't have to buy that many cards right you got to buy 15 to 20 of these 88s right over the next couple hours right you can be really patient with your buys right buy for under 50 now i have 10 mil right i can usually buy like 100 of these per tuesday i'm probably going to target 51k because i can't be sitting there waiting patiently to buy cards if you have the less coins you have the more patient you should be with your buys we're going to target to sell these tomorrow night remember put put my notice on right for tomorrow's video because i'll basically be telling you if you should quick sell them for training right sell them on the market or if the set is better to get the most value out of the 88 team of the week so remember that tomorrow but also looking at the 85s in the set right osborne is about 60k the cardinals player i don't remember his name i think it's Mar is that marcus golden i don't know exactly i can't see it's too small on my screen but marcus golden i think is about 38,000 coins now how where where does this kind of translate for the 88s well this pretty much is the reason why the 88s go up in price right so the first day the 85s are out right they're 40k 60k in the sets people are trying to do these sets to make profit for the heroes it is a little bit profitable if you do them right in the beginning right you buy the 88s you buy the 85s you buy the 80s you do the set you sell the cart and the power up now what's going to happen with that really is 
later on in the week, right, the 85s are going to progressively go down. You remember, we were buying, I believe, the 85 Trey Hendrickson last week for 20k. The first day, he was 40,000, so I expect that Osmore to drop about 20k tomorrow because of the 8188 exchange set, as well as just 85s overall are, can't stay at 60,000. They have to drop down, basically, from their pull rate to about 40k, right, from eight from 60 to 40k. Now, that's a 20k drop. That 20k has to be put back into some other cards, right? Otherwise, the set will become way too cheap and way too profitable. Those 20k will not go to the 81 or their 80 overall team of the week cards because those cards have to stay low they'll go to the 88s and as well with people not pulling packs it's less on the second day the cards are out the 88 team of the weeks really just become more rare and rare and rare because they're put into sets right in the sets they just take the cards right there's no return of any 88s right and as well you see the 81 88 exchange pack i did pull osborne i pulled one of them. i wouldn't really recommend doing it right because there is a risk if you pull an 80 you could lose 10k but we're actually gonna be looking at the exchange sets right i'm gonna shout out crazy hot boy e he's pretty much the master right of these exchange sets right this is what he i think he prior like is the best that right he finds the best exchange sets for rerolls now i don't really like the 8990s or the 8687s because there is a risk with the 8990s right it's pretty much you either lose 30k or gain 30k i don't necessarily like that i do like though the the 85 86 exchange set and i'll tell you why 383s right we're buying most feared cards you can pick them up at about 7.5k right now over the weekend they were going for about 6,000 coins now what does it make the set cost well it ends up being about 23,000 coins right now over the weekend it's about 18 to 19k now why is that so good right well 85s we know from the most feared reroll right video we can sell 85s for a minimum or maximum on well, a minimum at 20,000 coins for lazy buyers right so that pretty much makes you lose right now at this moment it's you're only losing two to three thousand per set and then every 86 goes for the minimum of 30,000 coins you see i get johnny hecker right he sells for 37k that's about a 12 13k profit but it pretty much make makes the set be you have to pull just 186 pretty much one in every three every three rerolls really and you're breaking even which makes it really really good limits the risk basically barely any risk and a bunch of upside right of pulling the 85 86 exchange packs now we're gonna go into a little of a lesson learning right we're in the classroom now for the most feared investments you see i bought an aaron donald right for 112 and remember 101 this past weekend right now aaron donald has become a lot of hype for any prediction videos any investment videos aaron donald's like that He's that mortal lock, really. To get a most of your card now, you see I sold him for 159 and 169. Now, why would you sell him, right? He's going to get a most of your card. Well, we don't know that exactly, right? If, you, if you're if you into sports gambling, right, and you like to gamble on sports, you've heard the term hedging your bets. Now, hedging your bets with these cards really is just selling for the profit, right? Maybe I should have kept one Aaron Donald and sold one Aaron Donald. But the whole, the whole premise, right, of investing in cards, right, is we buy them at their lowest, right, where they can't really go any lower. And then we sell for a profit. So why would I not take the 40 to 50K profit on the Aaron Donalds, right? For Tiger Kill, for example, I bought him for 70 and 80K. Tiger Kill's 90K, so that's not worth it to sell right after tax. We're pretty much breaking even on the 80K. If Tiger Kill were to go to 120,000, right? Sell him, man. Take your 30, take your 40K profit. That's the whole premise of the investing, right? If you can take profit, right? Take it, right? For example, if I buy Bradbury, right, at 8,000 coins and he goes up to 17, 15,000 coins tomorrow, that's almost doubling your coins, right? A little less after tax, man, just sell him, right? The only, the max these cards can really get up to, right, for an 8K Bradbury, right? He probably only goes up to 25,000, right? If you can take that seven to 8,000 coins profit, man, take it man take the profit wherever you can get it do not put your all your eggs in one basket right i i saw someone in the comments right they got like 15 Aaron Donalds, 10 Devontae adams they've bought the Aaron Donalds at 100k and they're at 150 right now that's like 250k profit right for example dk metcalf right we told you guys to buy him at 15k this last week and he's up to 22,000. we don't want to buy dk metcalf for 22,000 because if he does not get a card he's going to go back down to 15,000 coins investments especially most feared investments are supposed to be non-risky right if we buy a card let's say Fournette for 6k for example Fournette does not get a card he is not going down he's not going up he's staying at 6,000 coins lazy buyer listen for 6.6 .6. we get all our coins back right investments are supposed to be non-risky they're basically no risk involved high upside and whenever you can take profit when it's given right take what the defense gives you we're going to take what the market gives us right if the card just spikes up randomly like for example tj watt got a plus one team of the week so he's not gonna be getting a most feared pretty much it's like he's not getting a most feared card we we're buying tj watts right he was on my short list to buy for under 45k if you have two or three tj watts for 45k just go sell them for 80k right take take your 20 take your 25k profit right all these cards right i'm seeing frank ragnar right he's 13,000. i pick up a frank ragnar for 10,000. i'm buying these cards at the cheapest point to where if they do not get a card we are not losing any coins that's what you guys should be focusing on right it's more about the price of the card rather than the actual card itself right because we do not want to be risking any coin loss whatsoever but in terms of like 
basically Wednesday or Tuesday today and Wednesday tomorrow. It's kind of your last chance to buy these most feared investments. Really, the best time to buy these cards was last weekend, right? And then this weekend, right? When they announced the cards on Thursday and Friday, the cards, right, that don't get most of your cards they're going to be flooded on the market dk metcalf does not get a card this weekend or we're going to be buying him again at 15,000 coins and then the next week you'll see the same trend dk will be about 23k by about wednesday night and really we could just sell him take our five to six k profit if we don't want to risk him getting a most feared card but you see most of the bids that i've gotten these cards were like joey bosa for 10k now i didn't have joey bosa right on my predictions but joey bosa is eligible for an upgrade right chargers don't have a 90 he hasn't gotten an upgrade this year 10.8k right if he doesn't get a card well, really he goes for 14,000. if he doesn't get a card he's not going down he more right i'm gonna sell him back for 14,000, right leonard williams 7,000 coins he, if he gets a card he goes up to 20k i sell him if he doesn't get a card he stays at 7k there's no risk involved and you see my top 10 list is not more about the cards i do love calvin really mark andrews cooper cup all these cards i really like them to get their team of the or most of your cards but it's more just because their price is really low we don't want to be buying cards like khalil mack that are about 70,000 coins right now that were 50,000 last week because if he does not get a card, he's going down to 50,000, right? We're losing 20K. But pretty much any card you buy for the cheapest, right? These are two week investments. What we are not doing really is we are not buying and then selling on Friday if they do not get a card. That's how you lose coins. These are going to be two week long investments. Don't, I wouldn't really recommend most of your investments for you guys that only have like 100, 200K because you're putting these cards in your binder and you're holding them for two weeks, right? You need those coins to make other coins, right? These are more for the high rollers, right? If you probably got 700, 800K, right? Put 100, 200K into this, right? You won't worry about that 100, 200K. You don't need that coins to make coins, right? But that's going to wrap up this video. Remember, Team of the Week 88, so we're buying under 50. Be really patient with your most feared and most feared buys, right? surf the market pretty much get more about the price and the car but that's gonna be all for this video subscribe if you're new comment if you have any questions like of course if you join the video and until next time peace